These account for more than half of our local coronavirus cases, but even before this pandemic, minorities had less access to doctors and quality health care. Tonight, Channel 2 investigator Bill Spencer shows us how U of H and other local medical schools are working to change the very way medicine is taught to aspiring doctors to bring far better care to low income and minority communities that need it most. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Ashley Howard has found her dream job as a community health worker trained by and working for the University of Houston. 18, 19. She spends her days now helping people in the same poor minority community that she grew up in live healthier lives. Because you're not educated about health. You know, like growing up in a poor community, especially mostly predominantly black, you're not taught about health. A former certified nurse's aide and a single mom raising two young children all by herself. Ashley knows from experience that people growing up in underserved, low-income neighborhoods face huge barriers when it comes to good health care. My job is basically to teach them. That's why I took up this course, so I can be able to come back to the community and teach them what I learned. The COVID-19 crisis has made it even more apparent that people living in poor minority communities suffer from a lack of health care and suffer more when a serious disease pops up. In fact, of the more than 16,000 cases of COVID-19 diagnosed in Harris County, 2,600 victims are white, 2,900 victims are black, and 5,500 are Hispanic. Not only that, in Harris County, a whopping 22% of people can't afford to even see their doctor. In Texas, as a whole, 18.3% can't afford to see a doctor. And in the United States, that number is even less at 12%. And of those who can't afford to see a doctor in Harris County, 13.5% are white, 21.5% are black, and 30.4% are Hispanic. Our medical school has as its mission to improve uh, the health and health care of our population with a real focus on training more primary care doctors to serve underserved communities. Now, the brand new University of Houston College of Medicine is launching a groundbreaking program aimed at bringing more doctors, far better treatment, and better overall health care to poor communities. They're doing it by encouraging more minority students to train to be primary care doctors and assigning those would-be doctors to work with one single low-income family for all four years of their education. We basically Basically stay with that family all four years and and we learn what it takes to really take responsibility for the health I mean for the complete holistic health of the family Maya Fountainow is both African American and American Indian and is one of the 30 members of the U of H College of Medicine's inaugural class her entire $100,000 tuition is being paid for by the school and she says her ultimate goal is to set up shop and treat people solely in underserved minority communities and greatly improve their health. Now I can fight for my people and fight for others that I feel like are going through um, the same thing that I saw my communities go through or similar instances. And, and I can be a part of that fight as, as a physician. Now, the University of Houston is not alone in taking bold steps to improve health care for poor and minority communities. The University of Texas Medical Branch, Baylor College of Medicine, and UT Health are also offering classes and outside the classroom projects to better teach these students how to greatly improve health care in underserved communities. You can read what those schools are doing on our website, clicktohouston.com. I'm Bill Spencer, KPRC Channel 2 Investigates.